Zachary Anderson, and Brody Burge. Faceoff will come to the left of Bryce, with that being the first shot of the game coming from Hopkins, who had a good night last night in his BC Hockey League debut after missing the majority of the month of October due to an injury. Brett Morvick from a sharp angle threw it on. Bryce, the save, popped out in front, and scores! Bradley Nadeau quick on the spot on the glove side, able to bat it home on a sharp angled shot by Brett Morvick, threw it to the net. Bryce made the initial save and it is Nadeau who bats it in on the glove side for his fourth goal of the season and the 16 year old puts Penn Ticton ahead one to nothing under two minutes into the game. A minute and 44 seconds. The defender Amin who of course uh, Anybody from Pennsylvania who's a Pittsburgh Penguins fan, knowing Sidney Crosby played at Shattuck St. Mary's, is brought back in by Nadeau, centering a pass in front, scores! He's got two in the opening six and a half minutes of the game. Bradley Nadeau, second of the game, fifth of the year, and the V's lead 2-0. What a terrific pass by Josh Nadeau as the Nadeau connection is alive and well tonight. Great feed there as he got to the middle of the ice, worked to the right wing face off circle in front for Bradley Deneau, who took it on his backhand, went to his forehand, and beat it down and out. Bryce on the glove side. Fifth goal to see. Four check there was Mann. Marcello will play it back behind the goal. Touched along by Small to the left wing side and pushed out to center here by the Kings as they try to work their way out of their own zone. The V's are there to intercept. Newendike across left wing side. Mann a shot scores! What a shot by Ethan Mann, walked into the left circle, snapped a shot past the glove side of Bryce. He's got goals in back-to-back -back games now, does the Wisconsin native, and the V's lead it 3-0 with 10.53 to go in the opening period. Mann moving into the left circle, just unleashed a wrister from the top of the dot and fired it up and over the glove side of the goaltender, Zach Bryce. Second goal of the year for Mann. But a good looking line so far in the short sequences that they've had. Man with Smith and Neuendijk. Started out at center here by Morvick. Played to the middle now for Josh. No, Bradley, no back in front, scores! And the Nadeau line back at it again. Josh Nadeau right in the middle, buries it past the glove side of Bryce and the V's lead four to nothing. Josh Nadeau with his fifth goal of the season. Going right to the middle of the ice and a great pass by Bradley Nadeau has three points so far in this th first period for the left wing face off circle. Bradley Nadeau sent it back in front and Josh Nadeau going to the net. Pushed it past the glove side of Bryce who is pushed to the blue line Niedermeyer moving in. 10 seconds to go in the power plays. Morvick back with the right side. Across left wing now for Bradley Nadeau. Back along for Morvick right side. Into the slot left wing now for Nadeau. A shot scores! With 1.34 to go in the first period, Bradley Nadeau has a hat trick and the V's lead five to nothing. Sixth goal of the season for Nadeau as the V's move the puck around very effectively in the power play. Morvick from the right face-off circle through the slot. Nadeau got the shot in the left circle. Down and out was Giroux who made the save but couldn't get all of it. And the puck rolls past him on the blocker side and in. Patrick goal for the play of Casey Amen. We'll fire it back to center. Now it's Sam Belanger who's back for it here for Powell River. Toy on the left wing side played it back in. Back behind the goal. Parker Lalonde trying to force his way out left circle to the blue line. A shot by Belanger. Stopped by Purcell. Rebound loose to the side of the goal and Powell River scores. Belanger let the shot go from the left wing point. Purcell made the original stop but the rebound pushed in and it's Anthony uh, Lucarello, who finds the back of the goal, and Lucarello's got his third goal of the season, and the Kings have cut the deficit to four. It's a 5-1 game. Shot from the line. Purcell made the original save. He couldn't handle it on the glove side with 
Uh, Lucarello at the top of the crease, and he just slided across on the right wing. That pass is intercepted, and Luke Wilson starts back the other way. Wilson at that deep possessed away from him by Jason Marcella, former teammates last year, and it's forced back down ice by the Vs. No icing on the play is getting that first as Wilson cuts to the front. Shot scores! Luciano Wilson buries it past the glove side of the goaltender in Kenny Giroux after the Kings were a little sleepy to get back for the puck in their defensive zone. Wilson was the first to get to it. Walks in to gather the puck in the left face off circle. A terrific move to his backhand and a puck that went off of Jason Marcella into the back of the goal. Wilson's got his sixth of the year and the V's lead six to one. So Wilson picks up the marker. Hopkins played it along there for Wilson. Working his way down the right side into the slot here for Nato. Back along right side. Hopkins to the net. That's stopped by Chereau. Rebound high in the air in the slot. Bank just wide of the goal by Wilson. Williams takes over the handle. Moving to the left circle. On his forehand. Circling back in the left half board. Down to the goal line. McDonald scores! Casey McDonald on the goal line took the pass on his forehand and moved his body to position himself to the front of the net and was able to beat Giroux on the blocker side as McDonald picks up the marker, his fourth of the year, and the V's lead 7-1 on the power play goal. Williams down low for McDonald, got his way out to the blocker side, able to sneak a shot through Giroux. And the Bees jump ahead by seven. Out through center with that. Here is Jackson Neuendijk. Neuendijk making his way in. Had to get around a couple of checks as it's down below the goal line. Marcella battling there with Smith. Giving up now. Neuendijk finds the handle. Left wing circle. There's Niedermeyer with a shot. Stop. Rebound. Scores! <laughs> Niedermeyer took the shot from the left. Face soft circle. And it looks like it is going to be... The first BC Hockey League goal for Spencer Smith right in front as he buries a pass the glove side of Giroux and the V's lead 8-1. So Smith with a goal and assist so far. The shot by Niedermeyer, stopped by Giroux, the rebound in front, and it's Spencer Smith who's got his first BC Hockey League goal. Niedermeyer and Neuendijk on the assists on the marker. Trevor O'Brien off the left wing boards, walking in. Stefano Bettini trying to go back door. He was looking for Pachette. O'Brien had a stick tied up on the right wing side, and it's Toy that will play that back ahead. But once again, the V's back in for more. Bettini gets around a fallen defender, walks in, centering pass, scores! <laughs> Trevor O'Brien's got his first BC Hockey League goal. A terrific pass from Stefano Bettini on the left wing side. And the backdoor feed for O'Brien as he's able to bury past the glove side of Giroux. And it's a 9-1 V's lead. Great play by Bettini at center using his speed to work wide on the left side and sending a pass in front. And Trevor O'Brien able to bury a pass the glove side of Giroux for his first BC Hockey League goal. Good to see for O'Brien who again has his family in town tonight as well. Father Frank and Mom Amy. Puck will be thrown wide of the goal on the right side there by the Kings. And now comes back here for Josh Nadeau. Moving into the slot. Nadeau right circle in with a shot. That's stopped by the moving Giroux who came out to the top of the crease to defend that. Back along with it, Brett Morvick to the blue line. Luke Vardy, that scores! And the Bees have put up double digits here in this game. Luke Vardy's got his first BC Hockey League goal with a shot from the left wing point that had eyes to get through to the net and heavily screened Kenny Giroux and the V's lead 10 to one. So Var six and he's got the puck now with an opportunity in the slot but he just couldn't get to the middle of the ice quick enough. Lost the puck as Stefano Bettini comes off the bench. Bettini into the right wing corner. Comes up down right circle, sends it across left wing side. That one just went over the forehand of Alipo. Who had a good chance coming in. He's got the puck again. Center to the slot. Here's a chance. Ryan Hopkins scores. 
Ryan Hopkins from the high slot has his first BC Hockey League goal on a nice pass from Anthony Alipo and the V's lead 11 to 1. So Hopkins now joins the party as the fifth V to score their first BC Hockey League goal tonight. His 11th. Forced to the blue line and now back out to center where Arnott will find the handle. Morovic will start his way back in. Brett Morovic, high slot, shot, scores! Brett Morovic, a power play goal as he moved into the slot, took a shot that beat the blocker side of Kenny Giroux. It's Brett Morovic's first BC Hockey League goal, his sixth point of the night, and the V's lead it 12-1. Morovic walked into the slot as the V's were regrouping and changing on the power play and was able to beat the blocker side of Giroux. So Morovic's got a goal and five assists here on the night. Stefano Bettini racing after this in the left wing corner. Down below the goal line. Bettini cuts out right wing corner. Trying to make his way back there with that. Now Bettini still with it here. To the blue line it goes. Alipo left side. Quickly in front scores. Trevor O'Brien's got his second goal of the game. And the V's lead 13-1. to A power play goal for O'Brien. Good puck movement by the V's on the man advantage. Alipo at the midpoint. Slid it to the left wing side and then back in front. It's O'Brien who touches it in. On the pass from the corner, Alipo. Good feed down low. Ethan Mann played it back in front and it's Trevor O'Brien who finishes for his second goal of the game. To get down and block that shot as Alipo moves back into the right wing circle. Down below the goal line into the corner. Alipo with it now for the V's. Still with it here as he dropped it off. Brett Morvick slid it to the middle. Here's the doe. He scores. Bradley Nadeau's got his fourth goal of the hockey game. Brett Morvick's got his sixth or his seventh point of the game. And the V's lead 14 to 1 as Nadeau turned and fired from the right face off circle up and over the blocker side of Bryce. Alipo dropped it off for Morvick who fed it to the right circle, and Bradley Nadeau able to pick the corner. Fourth goal of the game for Nadeau. And the V's lead this one by a four. As Luke Vardy back for this, sends it up the right boards. Trevor O'Brien will find the handle on it at center, feed it ahead there for Thomas Pichette in the final minute. Back along for O'Brien, fed it along, left side scores. <laughs> And it's Stefano Bettini on the left wing side who's able to take the pass from Trevor O'Brien and beat the blocker side of Zach Bryce in a 15 to one V's lead. Pass from Pachette to the right wing for O'Brien and then back to the left side an open goal for Bettini who's able to put in his third goal of the season. And the V's add two more. The V's pick up win number seven on the season. 19 saves on 20 shots for Colin Purcell. The V's put up 15 goals on the night. Bradley Nadeau, a four-goal performance. Brett Morvick, seven points in the hockey game. And the V's defeat the Power River Kings by a score of 15-1 to here on this Saturday night at the SOEC.